Hey everybody, Susie Q here and welcome back to Q Aquatics. If this is your first time here, welcome. These aren't my normal kind of videos. Right now this is the second part of a three-part series on what it was like in my first year as a fish tuber. Let's go check out seven tips that I learned over this last year as a YouTuber. Number one, things that I've learned when I picked a topic of what I'm gonna do, I do my keyword search first. I used to uh, do my whole video and then do my keyword search. And, but if I do know my, my topic, do my keyword search, sometimes that directs in, in which way the video is gonna go. Very helpful tip. Number two, I create an outline to stay on track. I can, and I, it's not verbatim, I'm not, talking about a script, although I'm not talking about a script as much as an outline so I can remember to stay on topic, stay on topic so that it has a flow to it. Making an outline has helped tremendously. Number three, the third tip that I've incorporated into my little uh, bag of goodies is creating a thumbnail template. So my thumbnails template has probably changed three times in the last year. But once I have it, that's the one I use consistently. And what my template basically is, it's just like my logo in the bottom. Yeah, I think it's like a little splash of wave logo. Then I have the whole background uh, for whatever video I'm doing or the subject of what I'm talking about. And then a head of mine, my head. <laughs> And I have probably, I done, did some photo shoots and grabbed some headshots. I have taken headshots, clipped right out of the video that I made, you know, cropped it out and, and used that. I've done silly ones like, oh, you know, but I've made a, a thumbnail template that makes it super easy now. That part's a no brainer. I, I, you know, I just take a clip from the movie, throw on my head, put in a title. I use the same font, the same background of the font and throw it out there. Like I said, in the last year, I've changed that three times. So I try to keep it consistent, try to keep a common look to it. Hopefully that there could be some recognition as I grow that what the Q with the fish inside, the Q for Q Aquatics. If somebody sees that, they recognize that it's one of my videos. Um, my face maybe will help with the recognition. So that's a tip that I've incorporated. That's a tip that I started using. Number four tip that I've learned Practice out loud ahead of time what my outline is. Practice what I'm about to say. I have found that just running through it even once, whether I'm in the car or talking to John or just running through it once, helps tremendously with the amount of time it takes to edit. Because I find myself when I'm running through a scenario or running through a topic, what I want to talk about, if I get stuck on something, I realize I'm missing something, I'm missing a piece, um, something's not flowing and I get to, to fix it or at least think about it, heighten my awareness to it so when I start to talk, it can come out more. I think that's helped me so much with how long it takes me to edit a video. Practicing what I'm gonna say, practicing the flow of things, just running through the outline to, to see how it flows, to see how it goes. Um, that saved me so much time, so much time in editing. I'd have to say that was one of my best tips that I incorporated that helped me along. Number five, I need to be consistent with my videos. Show up like it's a job, Tuesdays and Fridays. If I do a live stream, that's a bonus because it's not in my schedule, but every Tuesday and Friday, I'm going to upload a video. Consistency with my video. I know what I have to do to get it done and I just get it done. Very helpful. Number six. Another tip is be myself. It took a little time in front of the camera before I could just be myself. Cause if you watch the first couples, it's like, hi, I'm Susie Q and welcome to Q Aquatics. Um, but now I can just be myself. I'm talking to the lens. I actually see my BFF's face right there yes i said bff i see her face in the camera it's like i'm talking to her i'm just talking to her it makes it so much easier um to be myself to be real 
I'm not an expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert. I don't want anybody to take what I do. I, this is just what I'm doing, what I've learned from watching different people on YouTube and looking up different care sheets and things like that. I'm just being real. This is me as much as possible being real and growing an extra layer of skin because not everybody is super nice. And so I just have to let that roll. Um, what do I do if I, I must always get a thumbs down? I could have 30 other positive things and I get a negative one and it's like, ah, I got to drop that. I got to let it go. I kind of let it go. And my seventh one is that I need to keep in mind why I started my channel. Just wanted to share the passion I was having for these animals and my learning experience. I just wanted to share it with whoever wanted to hear it. The, the online fish fam is so supportive. So I gotta keep in mind why I started my channel. And my channel is to share the passion that I have with fish keeping, aquatic turtles, um, even my amphibians, my axolotls are just to share my experience. My, uh, just to share my passion with anybody and everybody who would listen. And I listen to other people's sharing their journey and I just think it's great. There are people out there that know tons of stuff and others just like me is just sharing what they thought they heard and tried, did it work? Or, oh my gosh, I tried this and it worked great. It started out with a fish. How did it end up like this? It was only a fish. It was only a fish. <laughs> Thanks for watching these seven tips and tricks that I've learned. If you're interested in seeing the challenges that I experienced last year, check out this card up here. Stay tuned because I'm going to be posting seven things I'm hoping to accomplish in my next year. Maybe not accomplish, seven things that I'm looking forward to learning more about and incorporating next year. You guys are awesome. Thanks. <laughs>